Hey everyone, today I'm walking you through the new update for the AI Lip Sync model Multitalk, now integrated with the WAN Video Wrapper. If you've seen my earlier videos, you might remember Multitalk being used with WAN 2.1 to lip sync AI avatars. Those videos covered the basics and how to use video as input. This update takes things much further. It now supports multi-audio input, meaning you can generate conversations with up to four unique AI voices in a single video. The workflow, originally created by Manu Lee, big shout out, is perfect for AI podcasts, interviews, or multi-character scenes. Here's how it works. First, you use tools like Quen Generations and Chatterbox TTS to create your audio scripts and voices. Then, with the updated multi-talk node, you assign a voice to each character, speaker A, B, etc. I tested this with a 12-second female voice sample and a one-minute male sample. Worked great. The new Dialog TTS node, created by Manu and available in his custom fork of Chatterbox, lets you generate full conversations. It's a big step up from the original Promptus Comfy UI nodes, which only supported single voices. To handle overlapping dialog, you run the audio through a speaker diarizer, which automatically detects who's talking and when. That way, the output syncs perfectly with your avatars in WAN's multi-talk system. Best of all, the Promptus app already has this whole setup available. Just head to our website, promptus.ai. This works for online and offline users, so you can run this offline. With the latest WAN wrapper supporting GGUF quantization and multi-talk, creating high-quality multi-voice avatar videos is easier than ever. Just update the wrapper from the GitHub main branch and you're good to go. I've already walked you through the basic setup, but here's what's different with the new Multitalk Wave 2 No Group. We're now connecting two audio tracks and using a reference target mask to define which character is talking and when. To sync the visuals, we use a Mac node to calculate total video frames, say 693, and plug that into the node here. Since there are two voices, we also need an image with two people. For that, I'm using segment anything to identify each person and then split them into two separate masks using a prepare mask and image groups node. Once those masks are created, we import them into our custom nodes as reference targets. From here, the rest is similar, except we're adding context batching inside the WAN video wrapper. That means instead of generating all 693 frames at once, it breaks them into chunks, like 81 frames at a time, and renders them sequentially. Here's what it looks like when it works. Hi. I'm Anna. Welcome to our podcast. Hi, Anna. I'm Parker. I love AI and can't wait to share insights. You'll notice background details, too. A monitor flickers, text shifts slightly, because this is built with a smart AI video model. But it's not perfect yet. A common issue, when one character talks, the other might still move their mouth or blink awkwardly. That's one of Multitalk's limitations. It sometimes struggles to assign speaker roles cleanly especially in fast dialogue. Still, it's a major leap for creating multi-character AI podcasts. Let's switch it up and try a new topic. Something besides AI agents. Say you want your podcast to answer, what is an AI agent? Just type that in and Promptus will generate a natural conversation between two AI characters who break it down like real podcast hosts. Now let's go deeper. What about diffusion models? What are they? And why should anyone care? I simply drop that question into the prompts box and Promptus connects it to a Loma, which runs a predefined script structure. It sets up speaker A and speaker B in a back and forth conversation that sounds more like real dialogue than robotic text. I'm currently using Llama 4 Scout, but this works with most local models in Olama. If you're on a standard PC, you can run 7B parameter models like Quen's lightweight version. I won't go into detail on setting up Olama here. You can check out my other video for that. Just throughout, after the script is generated, we bring it into Chatterbox for voice synthesis. Now, by default, the workflow is set up to automatically send the script straight into Chatterbox dialog. Super convenient if you just want it to run hands-free. But I prefer a little manual control, so I output the text separately, copy and paste it into Chatterbox myself, and tweak the lines if needed. That gives me the freedom to edit tone, fix small issues, or add a bit more flavor. 
like if the dialogue needs an extra joke or a clearer transition. Of course, the trade-off is that this method breaks full automation. If you're more into seamless flows, you can skip all that and just link the output directly to Chatterbox dialog. Drag from the top right node, drop it into the input, and boom, you're set. The AI takes over from there. For this demo though, I'm doing it my way. Two tech-loving characters talking about diffusion models. I've already defined them, and now I'm loading their voice clones in Chatterbox. Let's walk through the voice prep step by step. I like this approach because it helps me explain what's actually happening at each stage. If you're just running this for yourself, feel free to automate the whole thing. But if you're curious, like me, it's worth seeing what each part does. But of course, this depends on how powerful your computer is. Now that I've walked you through it, you can see the full three minute audio has finished generating, along with two isolated voice tracks for each speaker. Instead of a single mix, this approach separates the voices, giving each speaker, Anna and Mia, their own clean track. Let's listen to the start of each to hear the difference. First, here's speaker A. From what I understand, Anna, diffusion models are a type of generative AI that can create realistic images, videos, and even music. Now here's speaker B. Hi there, I'm Anna, and welcome to our podcast, AI Explorers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of diffusion models. Thanks to speaker diarization, we now have perfectly timed and labeled audio for each voice. It doesn't just sound better, it's easier to edit, animate, and sync inside prompt twos using tools like Multitalk and the WAN video wrapper. This workflow gives you pro level voice separation without the hassle, and it's perfect for podcasts, interviews, or any AI powered video content with multiple characters. As you can see in this section, there's no audio from one of the speakers because we've isolated the two voices from the same track. This allows us to align each speaker's timeline separately as distinct audio outputs. These are plugged into speaker one and speaker two inputs and passed along to the next node group, the WAN 2.1 video wrapper. Now we'll enable that group and generate the video. I usually double check settings before I hit go because regenerating anything inside a language model block can burn extra VRAM and time. That's something to keep in mind with larger workflows. Now, Chatterbox doesn't hog GPU. TTS can run on CPU just fine. You can toggle that here if you'd rather offload some VRAM strain. Let's take a look at this in action. Multitalk takes time to render. This example is set to 60 seconds of video, which is around 1500 frames. Each batch is split into chunks of 81 frames using the context option. So yes, it can handle longer sequences, but it takes patience. Every frame is rendered based on the audio context. So you'll see the log at the bottom cycling through memory steps as it processes. All right, we're back. The generation's done. It took about 19 minutes to produce 1500 frames. Not lightning fast, but that's the trade-off for detailed AI-driven facial animations. The result? Two people are now clearly defined with masks generated and fed through the video sampler. The setting has a cozy conversational vibe, like a home studio podcast. To speed things up, I used six sampling steps with the Distill CFG LoRa, which helps reduce load without losing too much quality. Let's play the audio. Today, we're going to talk about diffusion models in AI. I'm excited to dive into this topic with my co-host, Mia. Hi, Anna, and hi, everyone. I'm Mia, and I'm thrilled to be here. As you can hear, it sounds like a natural exchange, but let's talk about realism for a second. While Multitalk does support multiple speakers, it isn't always precise when syncing mouth movements and facial expressions. For example, when the woman in black is talking, the other speaker may suddenly move her hands or mouth randomly, even though she's not supposed to be speaking. This isn't a bug per se, it's a limitation of how these AI models generate reactions. 
So visually, it feels fluid, but when you listen closely, the sync isn't always perfect. That said, it's way better than earlier diffusion-based solutions. We're finally getting into territory where AI-generated talking avatars feel plausible, not just experimental. Here's another sample. Two speakers, face-to-face. Hi everyone, I'm Anna, and today we're talking about something super cool, diffusion models. That's right, I'm Mia. I've heard so much about them, but I've still got a lot of questions. Now, visually, it looks like a real podcast. Two people talking, making expressions, reacting, but the lip sync mismatch still shows up. For instance, Mia might be speaking, but her mouth isn't moving, while Anna gestures like she's talking. Or worse, both talk at the same time and the sync blends them together. Watch my mouse pointer here as I highlight who's supposed to be speaking. Sometimes both avatars animate at once, even though only one voice is active, like this moment. Today, we're going to talk about diffusion models in AI. I'm excited to dive into this topic with my co-host Mia. Hi Anna, I'm Parker. Let's explore AI in various industries. Looks great visually, but both characters are moving at once, which breaks immersion. The AI isn't always sure which mask is linked to which voice. Here's a suggestion that could improve things. If the AI system allowed us to manually assign masks to audio inputs, mask one to audio one, mask two, audio two, it would avoid crosstalk confusion. We've already separated the masks using tools like Segment Anything, so the assignment should be feasible at this point. Still, even with these quirks, the animations are a solid step forward. When you're not listening for lip sync accuracy, it feels like a natural conversation between two AI-generated hosts. The model captures posture, eye movement, body gestures. It's impressive for casual content like podcasts where audio syncing isn't always scrutinized. So that's my take after testing multi-talk in depth. There's room for improvement, but it's definitely usable and quite fun. If you want to try it, I'll link Manu Lee's workflow below. He's done fantastic work bringing this together, and it runs great on Promptus. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please share your comments and questions below. And for more explanations on the best AI tools, including Promptus, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.